Hi, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our weekend weather update. And we're tracking a little bit of rain that is moving into the North Island for Saturday and there could be a couple of isolated thunderstorms. So let's take a look. We've got a low that is dropping down into the Southern Ocean. That was the one that was in the Tasman yesterday. It is pulling down. And then we've got this warm, humid uh, airflow going down around perhaps two thirds of the country at the moment, the North Island and the Upper South Island. So a pretty hot Friday on the way, another hot Saturday on the way for many uh, Eastern areas. But this low is sending up this big southerly change and that is coming in for the weekend for the South Island Island in particular, but most places will get uh, a bit of a temperature drop this weekend. It may not be a huge amount up here in the north, but still you'll probably feel that the humidity has eased. So this is how we look for Saturday and in comes this front. Now I said yesterday that the front itself has detached from the low, which has gone off the screen. As it moves in, it's a mixture of patchy, light, drizzly sort of rain. But there could also be some uh, heavier falls as the front moves in with afternoon daytime heating. So there is a chance we could get a couple of isolated downpours, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms across the upper North Island. It's a little bit 50-50. I did write a story today saying it's a little bit like popcorn. And let's say it's got two minutes to cook in the microwave to pop, but you've turned the microwave off at about 1 minute 30. So you might get a couple of kernels that pop, or in this case a couple of showers that pop and turn into a big thunderstorm or a downpour, but it's just not quite um, the perfect conditions to make heavy downpours widespread. We'll keep our fingers crossed, I hope I'm wrong, and I hope you end up all getting some good downpours, but the estimates are between 2 and 10, maybe 15 millimetres seems to be the general average uh, for rain coming over the North Island. In the south you've got another burst of rain coming through on the western side, but also coming into the eastern side as that southerly goes northwards, and Saturday will be colder than average around the lower South Island as that southerly change moves through. By Sunday, the whole country has southerly quarter winds. So they're sort of coming up and around like that. Very locally, you might have a, a different wind direction, but the general flow across the country is southerly quarter going around that high in an anticyclonic way. So a few showers around um, Hawke's Bay, Gisborne, potentially wide upper as well for a time. Then it is mostly dry and it's dry and sunny and fairly warm still in the north, but you'll notice that humidity down a bit and uh, in the south still a bit colder with maybe a couple of little showers around Southland but nothing too much on Sunday. In fact, it's probably dry for you. Let's get into next week and Monday kicks off with this big high. And to be honest with you, the high dominates for all of next week. So let's not get too bogged down on this. It's pretty simple. That's Monday. That's Tuesday. A couple of showers at the bottom. Maybe a couple in the top there. Otherwise, light winds for many areas. You'll probably find a few cloud buildups inland as well when you've got two centers like this, um, both with anticyclonic winds. So there's a southwester on that side and maybe a bit more of a nor'easter on that one going around that center. That could produce a few cloudy areas. And then the middle of next week, Wednesday, no real change, especially for the North Island, although maybe a couple of isolated showers bubbling up because things might become a little bit more humid uh, as that subtropical easterly starts to push in again. So fairly warm end, or sorry, a fairly warm middle to end of next week. This is Wednesday, of course. And here's the next system in the Southern Ocean. This is a little bit of a hint of autumn, just starting to see stormy stuff return there. Another sign of autumn is the highs moving back north again. They went south for a couple months, now they're starting to maybe drift back up again. So we'll keep an eye on that and see if we are going into an autumn pattern. At this stage though, I think it's still going to be fairly hot and dry for the north right through for the rest of the month of February. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again on Monday. <laughs>